the Detroit Lions could clinch a playoff spot this Thursday. It's dependent, though, on if the Saints beat the Rams. But Lions fans want a lot more, like the Lions winning their division. Joining us now is Jeff Lesson, sportscaster with WWJ News Radio 950 and 97.1 The Ticket. Thanks for joining us. Darren, it's always a pleasure. So, Jeff, how are you feeling overall about the possibility of the Lions moving forward in the way that fans are rooting for them to? Well, it's a foregone conclusion. There's like a 99.8% chance they're going to be in the playoffs. And there is a greater than 90% chance they're going to win the division. So I think any Lions fan should feel great about the fact that their team is going to win their first divisional title ever in the NFC North and their first divisional title anywhere since 1994. Yes, that's a long time. The real question, Terrence, is are they going to have home field more than one game? And they have a chance to do that if they win out their final three games they're going to earn the number two seed. So that would be a big deal. Okay, before we go forward, let's go back and talk about Saturday with their performance against Denver. What are your thoughts on how they played out there? Do you think that there is still a chance for them to dominate and get there? Yeah, I mean, that was arguably their best game of the season. And the Denver Broncos are not the same team they were early in the year, Terrence, when they were abysmal. This was a team that gave up 70 points against the Miami Dolphins early in the year. Uh, they won, I think, what, five of their previous six games against uh, heading into the Lions game. They were 7-6, and six, had playoff thoughts of their own. And the Lions dominated them. And really, they dominated them with a healthy offensive line. When healthy, their old line is as good as any in the business. When it's banged up, yeah, that's when they sometimes struggle. As long as they stay healthy. And you get Frank Ragnow out there. He's been banged up quite a bit. Jonah Jackson and all the rest of them. This offensive line is something to reckon with. Now, the concerns? Well, the lack of a pass rush has definitely been a concern for a good part of the season. That's on the defensive line side of the ball. And, of course, when you don't get much of a pass rush, it leaves your secondary vulnerable. But with C.J. Gardner-Johnson coming back soon, he could anchor that secondary and greatly improve it. And then, of course, Jared Goff. The more home games you get for this guy and temperatures better than 40 degrees, but you're not going to see many places outdoors this time of year, the better off the lines are. His history playing outdoors and in freezing games, not good, Terrence. Yeah, your thoughts on some of the rookie players. A lot of people have been really excited since the start of the season because it just hit the ground running. We know that there have been some losses here and there, but overall they've been doing great, and that younger team aspect of it seems to really be helping the Lions overall. It gives them a shot of energy. Jameer Gibbs, uh, I may have been critical of taking him in the first round, and I still would rather have had Jalen Cotter, a defensive lineman, which was more of their need, but he's been excellent. There's no denying that. And him combined with Montgomery, the two of them combined for the best backfield in the National Football League. So that's one rookie, Jameer Gibbs. How about Sam Laporta, tight end? This guy's a first-year pro bowler, about to break all kinds of records for passing touchdown receptions. He's been outstanding. Brian Branch has been very good. Uh, Jack Campbell's played well in spots of linebacker. But the bottom line is they have at least four rookies contributing mightily on both sides of the ball. Kudos to Brad Holmes for getting that done. Absolutely. Five touchdowns from Jared Goff. No turnovers on Saturday. How are you feeling about his yeah. performance? And then just overall about, again, how we're rooting for this team. And I feel like a lot of people are thinking that they can get it done. Well, a lot of people feel like, well, we've been hurt before. Just when you let it go and you let go of your hurt, you feel like you're going to get bitten in the rear end again. As far as Jared Goff, that was one of his best games of the year. Look, he came into the game turning the ball over nine times in four weeks. That's not good. But like I said, he plays at home with a solid offensive line. They can compete with anyone. Realistically, though, if they don't win their final three games and they got two games against Minnesota, hey, look, they're going to be favored in both those games because of Minnesota's quarterback situation. And then one game at Dallas. That'll be your most difficult chore. The Cowboys, I believe, are unbeaten at home. And if they're going to beat a team like Philadelphia, their best chance to do it, maybe their only chance, would be in the cozy confines of Ford Field. Winning at Philly in January, good luck. All right, Jeff, we will certainly be watching and rooting for the team. Thank you again for joining us.
Oh, it was a pleasure, my friend.